never know. You never know. Hey folks, uh, it's David Only, and this is You Never Know, and it's 2018. It looks amazingly like uh, like 2017 to me, but what do I know? Um, okay, coming up. Sunday Social on January 28th at 2 p.m. at the Frog Pond at Blue Moon Farms in Silver Hill, Alabama. With Malcolm Holcomb, R.B. Morris, Grayson Capps, Corky Hughes, and uh, Eric Taylor is going to jump in there too. <clears throat> it would be great to see Eric. It would be great to see all those guys, but I haven't seen Eric in a long time. Uh, Thursday, February 15th in Kansas City, Missouri during the Folk Alliance International headlining the Rebels and Renegades show at Knuckleheads. All kinds of cool folks on that show including Tim Easton and Mary Gaucher and uh, look for other regional shows surrounding that date to be announced soon and check out stuff on davidonly.com Okay <clears throat> Boy, I mean, man, it's been cold. It's been way cold. And that's Tennessee, you know. My brother and sister live up in New England. I, I can't even think about it. So I hope wherever you are, you are warm. Uh, I got some new sonnets, so I'm going to inflict one on you here. Um, <clears throat> I guess back in the 90s, they found this... Uh, body of a prehistoric 5,000 year old body in the Alps and uh, they nicknamed this guy Utzi, I think is how you pronounce it, Utzi. And uh, <clears throat> um, he was, uh, you know, from 5,000 years ago, that means it was around the time that, I don't know, language, written language was starting. <clears throat> stuff like the Trojan War was going on. I mean, it's it's way back there. And they found this guy, and his body had been preserved in ice up in the Alps. So that's how it was, you know, that was what was so amazing about it. And they, and they found, like, he was being um, somehow being chased up this mountain. And you can see where he threw down a shield, and he threw down a spear, threw down his weapons of war, and he was wounded and obviously died up there. <clears throat> and, I, and I've thought about that. It just seemed like an incredible thing. So, uh, this is the sonnet. The higher he climbed, the thinner the air became, and cooler, focusing his thoughts. On what? On the wound in his shoulder, the constant piercing pain, on the weakness of his legs, the loss of blood, the cries of those in their cruel pursuit followed like a curse from his past. He stumbled on a gnarled and twisted root, knowing that the end was coming fast. No need now for this battered shield, or this sharpened spear, or this bloody knife. What profit could these tools of war now yield in the last remaining moments of his life? Five thousand years and more this scene did play. It haunts my thoughts even to this day. Cool. Yeah. All right. Uh, so here's, here's another thing. Um, I had to take my guitar into the uh, shop to be looked at. Nothing serious. Uh, but, it, you know, just kind of like a checkup like you do for your car. So, <clears throat> I've got to do one a cappella here. And this is uh, called The Old Barbed Wire. And I first heard this song from uh, Tony Barrand and John Roberts. And they are two English guys who now live in the United States. John Roberts lives in New York, Sch Schenectady, New York. And Tony Barrand lives somewhere in Vermont. And they sing a cappella and they they're really cool um, <clears throat> and I heard them do this at a folk festival in uh, New Bedford Massachusetts and it knocked my socks off uh, and I oh when I do that song 1917 the World War one soldier song 
I always do this song in front. <coughs> I gotta guess what the key is, hope I get in right. If you want to find the general, I know where he is, I know where he is, I know where he is. If you want to find the general, I know where he is, in Paris at the Folie Berger. I saw him, I saw him, in Paris at the Folie Berger. I saw him, in Paris at the Folie Berger. And if you want to find the colonel, I know where he is, I know where he is, I know where he is. If you want to find the colonel, I know where he is. He's pinning another medal on his chest. I saw him, I saw him, pinning another medal on his chest. I saw him, pinning another medal on his chest. And if you want to find the major, I know where he is, I know where he is. I know where he is, if you want to find the Major, I know where he is, he's drinking up the company rum. I saw him, I saw him, drinking up the company rum. I saw him, drinking up the company rum. And if you want to find the adjutant, I know where he is, I know where he is. I know where he is, if you want to find the adjutant, I know where he is, he's Roger and the Colonel's wife. I saw him, I saw him, Roger and the Colonel's wife, I saw him, Roger and the Colonel's wife. And if you want to find the private, I know where he is, I know where he is, I know where he is. If you want to find the private, I know where he is. He's hanging on the old barbed wire. I saw him, I saw him. Hanging on the old barbed wire. I saw him, hanging on the old barbed wire. Yeah. Okay, I mean, you can go on YouTube and find, you know, put in uh, the old barbed wire and, and these versions will come up and they have there's kind of different verses they'll have a sergeant uh, boiling up some tea and some other things but it's World War One soldiers doing what they do you know privates and regular grunts uh, poking fun at their officers and uh, the, when it gets to the private it's just I mean it's just there's this sort of funny stuff that goes on before with the lieutenant and the colonel and the major and the general and all that stuff. And when it gets to the private, there's nothing funny about hanging on the old barbed wire. So, uh, that's what I got. And uh, I'm going to go find a place to get warm. Uh, here's the Wonder Dog bringing in the new year as he took out the old year. You are alive, aren't you? Yes, you are. You never know. You never know.